the fortress color detail is every inch colonial. A reminder of the days when Fort Monroe was the Hampton Roads outpost against the British. A formidable fortress when they dug the moat around it, today the country's oldest continually operating army post. But congressional critics and others have called Fort Monroe one of the least efficient army posts in the country. That's why last fall's congressional decision to keep Fort Monroe open was such a major victory. But it was not without conditions. Well, a provision was made when they made a decision that we would study or do a feasibility study to combine some of the support functions that we have with the support functions they have at Fort Eustis, and that's ongoing. That study was started under Colonel William Bramlett and will be finished probably within the year under Colonel Richard Mackin. But Colonel Bramlett, who leaves the Army today after 28 years, will still be able to follow the fate of Fort Monroe because he and his wife will live in Hampton, this time as civilians. At Fort Monroe, Kathy Mitkiff, The Daily News.